Dr. Mindy here, and on this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use the principles of fasting to reverse an autoimmune condition. I'm not joking, I got some great information for you. So if you are new to my channel, I just say welcome, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you wanna dive in to this miraculous body of yours that you've been given, if you wanna understand how to heal it, from by yourself on your own using lifestyle tools like fasting join me on this journey I, I can't wait to share with you all that I am seeing clinically all that I've learned through the art of fasting um, to reverse autoimmune conditions so I'm super excited you're here just hit that notification bell and the subscribe button and let's dive in do a long fast one day your blood sugar going up and down we're in it together Okay, literally why I wanted to, to map out these words, reverse autoimmune condition, is because a lot of the issues we know about autoimmunity is that when you're given an autoimmune diagnosis, it's like you're labeled with it, nothing you can do, take some medication, that's, all, that's your only solution. And I'm here to tell you no. I, I mean, one of the things to know about me is I have this incredible bird's eye view to watching so many of you apply the principles of fasting. Same thing in our Reset Academy. We have thousands of people over there where we're helping them with their thyroid problems and their autoimmune conditions using the tools of fasting. So I'm watching what's working and what's not working. And when we look at autoimmunity, one of the biggest challenges we have is yes, there is a genetic piece. But that's not that's that's only chapter one of the autoimmune story. That's not chapter two, three, and four, which is what I'm going to tell you right now. And the first thing I want you to know is that your autoimmune condition gets triggered because yes, you have a genetic predisposition, but it's triggered by your lifestyle, or it's triggered by a toxin, a physical, emotional, or chemical toxin. So just as you triggered it with something in your lifestyle, you can untrigger it with things in your lifestyle. That's how powerful a video like this could be on reversing autoimmune conditions is you understanding that it's not a death sentence. It's a lifestyle situation that got you here and it's a lifestyle situation that's going to get you out. So I really want you to, to, to understand that. The second thing before I go into how do you reverse it is I want you to understand that 80% of autoimmune conditions are happening to women. Now, if you're a doctor, if you're a health practitioner, I know I have a lot of you that come to my channel. Um, I've been speaking to several doctors on their hospital rounds and, and educating them on fasting. And what I want you to know that is really, really important for us to talk about is why are 80% of autoimmune conditions happening to women? 80%, why is that? And a large reason is because we are living a lifestyle out of accordance with our hormones. And the more we don't learn how to fast like a girl, the more we don't learn how to eat with our hormones, depending on where we are in our lifestyle, the more we set ourselves up for an autoimmune condition. PCOS is an incredible example of that. PCOS has two issues going on with it. It has an insulin resistant issue mixed with a toxicity issue. So, but to get a woman insulin resistant, the solution I mapped out in Fast Like a Girl, there's, a, you gotta learn to fast and eat with your cycle, especially if you have PCOS, that's really important. But then we have things like Hashimoto's and RA, and all of, and RA shows up a lot in menopause, menopausal time. Um, and so we've got to look at what is it around our hormones that's triggering this. So you're not going crazy if you're a woman and you got one autoimmune condition and now you're getting another one and then another autoimmune conditions hang out in a pack. So part of understanding the fasting protocol I'm about to give you is that I want you to understand if you're a woman that we got to get you living in accordance with your hormones. That's what Fast Like a Girl was all about. So please dive into that book so you know that you know what the nuance of what I'm talking about. For the actual protocol itself, what I want you to know is that there are three reasons that autoimmune conditions get triggered. The first is you have to have the gene for it. We already talked about that, but that's not, that's only chapter one. Second is that there has to be a stressor. So most of the time it's a food stressor, it's a, it's, you've been exposed to toxin stressors or it's a, a life through so much at you, it's a mental stressor. 
So I'll talk about that in a moment. And then the third part is that there's an imbalance in your gut. So the gut is, is what controls a large part of what controls our immune system. So if the gut is de deficient in microbes, if you've got a monoculture issue going on in your gut, then you're going to want to repair the gut in order to get at your autoimmune condition. So knowing those three principles, we've got a genetic, we've got a stressor, and we've got a gut. Now let's talk about how we use fasting. So the first I already said, you're gonna fast like a girl. So if you have a cycle, make sure you understand what that means, the book says it all. Okay, second thing is that we know we've gotta repair the gut. So what fast repairs the gut? What length fast? I know those of you that have been following me a while, you know the answer to this. I'm gonna give you a moment to say it in your head. It's the 24 hour fast. I wrote about it in the book, it's the gut reset fast. So for doesn't matter if you have Hashimoto's or you have PCOS um, or celiacs, we've gotta get you back to it, learning how to 24 hour fast. So make sure once a week would be great, once a month if, you, if, that, if once a week is too big of a stretch. So make sure you're leaning into that fast as much as possible. Now we also have the stressor factor of this. You might, your, thigh, your autoimmune condition could be triggered by a toxin. I mean, you have to ask yourself, why is the body attacking itself? Mixed up immune system, immune system comes from the gut, and we've got a toxic load issue. So the body's attacking, if it's Hashimoto's, it's attacking the toxins in there, and the immune system is just hyperactive going after it. So what fast can help us with uh, toxins? I wish I could hear you. Put it, put it in the comments. I, I, I wish I could hear what you're saying, but the fast for detoxing is autophagy. We can start to get rid of toxins through autophagy. So we've now, now genetic wise, how do we start to turn genes on and off using fasting? Well, that's where we start to lean into some of the longer fasts. You know, when you go into the three day water fast, like we just led 8,300 people through a three day water fast with the launch of my book, that was really fun to watch. Those longer fasts, when we get into those three day water fasts, we start to get rid of some of these senescent cells that are, that are tr triggered, genetically triggered for your autoimmune condition. But then we also know that if we can clean that cell up in a three day water fast, hitting max autophagy at 72 hours, that we can start to turn genes off. So we take those three things into consider consideration and now we build a fasting lifestyle using a 17 hour fast, a 24 hour fast and a three day water fast. Now in the book, I, I map this out. And again, I'm gonna do like I did with the thyroid. I will put the protocol in the book. It's much easier for you to see it than for me to sit and repeat it to you. So I'll put it down there, but please get the book so you understand the principles. What I like to see with all autoimmune conditions is one day a week, a 24 hour fast and dipping into these 17 hour fasts as, as much as possible. So know that right off the bat. Now the three day water, water fast, you're not gonna do that all the time, um, but once to twice a year is a great time to do it. In my academy, I'm leading people through that longer fast all the time. So if you wanna know how to train yourself for a three day water fast, come join me over there. So dipping into the longer fast a couple times a year, dipping into the 24 hour fast once a week, and then autophagy a couple of times a week is a good str strategy. Now I wanna point out another really interesting hack and I just was talking to a carnivore group yesterday, the Steak and Butter Gal, awesome community of people who are using carnivore, the carnivore diet to overturn autoimmune conditions and I wanna tell you why the carnivore diet works so well for an autoimmune condition. When you take any uh, toxin, all the toxins out of your body, your body doesn't really have a chance to attack anything. There's nothing to attack. So when we look at like Stephen Gundry's work, he taught us that plants have these oxalates and lectins. So if you have a gut that's already got a lot of dysbiosis, you have a leaky gut, maybe you've been on birth control and antibiotics for a really long time, there's this good bacteria, bad bacteria imbalance in the gut. And so we know that you put anything in there like a vegetable, that has a toxin on it, and all of a sudden, you're gonna have a strong immune response. So if you have a history of a lot of toxins going into your gut, whether it's poor food, birth control, or antibiotics, 
I want to encourage you to think about carnivore and let me tell you why. When you put clean meat, this is meat without hormones, into your gut, there's nothing for the gut to have an immune response against. So just going meat only like the carnivore diet for three days, five days, a week, you have to play with what's right for you. You've taken the offensive toxic foods out of the equation and the immune system calms down. This is huge, but it doesn't stop there. The second part of this conversation is that when you're only eating meat and you've taken the plants out for a, a short period of time, all of a sudden something comes onto the scene called T regulatory cells. And this is really important because T regulatory cells, when you upregulate them, what happens is they calm the immune system down. This is amazing. We want that immune system calmed down. So I came up with something called carnivore fasting, where you go 17 hours of fasting, you're getting that autophagy, and then all you're doing is eating meat. And I believe that carnivore fasting anywhere from a day to a week is a great way to just put a pause on your autoimmune condition. So know that that's an option for you as well. Um, so, and, and it's really important to point out because I've seen so many things change that way. Last thing I'm gonna say about the add-ons for autoimmune condition. If you do the protocol I just showed you, if, I, if you start to incorporate those three fasts that I just talked about, or, and then maybe you decide to do some carnivore fasting, so you, do, you combine those, and you're still not getting well, I really encourage you to look at your toxic load. Because at the root of an autoimmune condition is a, a toxin the body is attacking. So heavy metal test, we sell those on my website. That's a great door in. I don't know anybody who, you know, autoimmune conditions are so prevalent right now, but when we see a high a heavy metal, metal load, we usually see an autoimmune condition close behind that. So, so go, you can go to my website and test your heavy metals. That's a great one. You can go get a Dutch test and look and see how your liver's functioning, how your gut's functioning. Dutch test is great. We have another test on my, on my website called the metabolomics test. Really awesome for looking at the toxic load um, issues. And if all of that's really confusing, you can get a nutritional consult with my, my health coach, Paige, and she'll sit down and help you figure that out. All of that's on my website. But why I wanna talk about this last piece with you is there is a huge toxic piece with aut every autoimmune condition. So do the protocol I just taught you, and if it, you're not getting well, then let's test and see what's going on. And those are the resources available to you, or you can go to your functional medicine doctor, but I just wanna make sure you're led in the right direction. That's why I bring it up. Um, and the last thing that I, I ask of you all, we have so many incredible stories about fasting and how it's overturned people's autoimmune condition. If you have a great story, put it in the notes. I love reading your comments. I love reading your stories. If you're new to my channel, here's an opportunity for you to see what a fasting lifestyle has done for something like an autoimmune condition. So as always, I'm so grateful for you all. Thank you all, by the way, for the incredible support I've had around Fast Like a Girl. Thank you for your reviews on that book. And let's just get healthy together because something as complex as, auto, as an autoimmune condition, we can think that it's our problem, it's our genetics, but I wanna, I'm here to give you hope. And I'm here to tell you that there's more to that story that you may have not heard. And this is the beginning of that conversation. So I hope that we opened up uh, some new patterns of thought for you and that you're seeing this from a different angle. So as always, I hope that helped.